ready. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Wakey, wakey, it's Meg and Blakey. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to uh, What's on the Skillet with Blakey and Megs. Uh, Meg, sure what's on the skillet this morning? Oh, wait, I was going to introduce ourselves. Are we not doing that? Do we, they know us? We just did. Well, if, uh, I'll leave it up to your imagination, but my name is Blake. And over here is Megan. Hey, there we go. Uh, we're talking into our cameras today because uh, we are in two different locations um, usually. And this is kind of our um, first go ahead at video talk show. Yes. Um, yes. We're, we're taking our newsletter on the road. In this segment of Blaken and Megs, we've got some things we're cooking up for you this week. Blaken? Well, um, because memes are all the craze right now, we have picked our favorite meme of the week. Memes uh, are like memes, Jesus, and salt and vinegar mm. chips. Yes. So uh, we picked our favorite meme of the week. Um, some jokes have been going around with our teachers, opening their uh, videos with jokes. So our sixth grade math and seventh grade math teacher, April Donati, she has a joke she wants to share with us. We'll, we'll video that in. Also, next week, very fun, and it's something that we've done before, but this week we're doing it much different. differently. 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 So we're having a spirit week next week. Spirit week next but, week. But we're doing it in, in the theme of what's happening right now. So Monday is going to be a superhero day. Not in the superheroes that wear tights or are on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but the heroes that are showing up to work every day helping to save lives, we're talking about... Nurses, doctors, all the people working at the grocery store, the garbage men on the street. Your shipped delivery people. Your shipped delivery guy. The people in the... Finance business. I just Auto got a shipment from Amazon today. So if you want to dress like an Amazon delivery person, yes, thank they you, are Amazon. making things happen for us so we can stay safe inside. So who's your hero? That's Monday. Dress like your favorite hero of the week. Okay. Um, let's... Tuesday. Coming up on Tuesday. Tuesday, we have, and this is probably one of my more favorite. Um, here we go. And we're going to list all this out. We'll have it written for you so, and post it on social media so that you got it to reference back to as well. Yes. All right, what's okay. Tuesday? All right, I got Tuesday. Crazy hair day. <laughs> okay, some of you went to crazy hair day for Seuss Week, but follow us here. A lot of us have not been to a hairstylist or a barber. Look at this gray. Oh no? Okay, there's not that much. <laughs> Anyways. So, maybe maybe a, maybe a superhero is a hairstylist for you. So on Tuesday we're going to do our hair crazy because a lot of people are canceling their hair appointments. So what's Shout your out hair to the hairstylist out there who are holding it down without clients? What's um, your hair look like after quarantine? So that's what we're going after. Something a little bit like that. Okay, it's out of control. We'll unleash, we'll unleash this. You'll see. So imagine what you're going to look like after you can see the light of day and you're in your hairstyle's chair. All right. All right. Excuse Wednesday. Wednesday. We're going to dress like the elderly. So I, I know a lot of the younger kids on the 100 days of school, they dress like the elderly. But we're doing it to remind ourselves that they need the most care right now. We need to be thinking about them. We need to be praying about them. So, so dress like your, your grandparents, um, someone sweet on the street that you've seen. What are you going to look like as a little old man or a little old woman? And this way, we'll keep in mind those that we need to care for right now as they're the most at risk right now. Yeah, reach out. Ask what you can do. Uh, Thursday, 
Thursday. Jersey Day. Woo! So, as many of you may have known, a lot of our professional sports teams and a lot of the sports teams that maybe we follow or are excited about or fans, they've had to cancel their entire season of play because of this virus. Ugh. So, let's support them. Yeah, wear, wear your, your favorite, favorite team. If you don't have a team shirt, wear your favorite team colors. That's it. Right now, today, I'm wearing my house colors. Team Curiosity. Whoop, whoop. You can always wear school, school team colors if you need right. to. All right. And Friday. 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 Megan, take it away. What's Friday, Blinken? <laughs> Friday is PJ Day because hey, what's the best I... sport of virtual school? PJs. PJs. And you'll probably be in them anyway. So roll on out of bed, show us your school spirit, and uh, rock those jammies as best as you can on Friday. That's it. And um, if you are not following our social media channels, please do submit your picks because we may feature you next week on the next newsletter. So follow our, on, follow on. our social channels. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and right now we're just keeping it to that because there's so many and we don't want to get out of control. So. All right, so Blaken. Yeah, man. What else we got there over there on that hot iron? Is that what we call it? The skillet? No, we've already used that term. I was coming up with new ones. Cast iron. Good, good synonyms for all of this goodness. What's on the cast iron? What's on the cast iron? Well, got, that may be it for today. No, no, there's more. But wait. There's more? There's more. Oh my also next week. And hey, let's, let, me, let me pause a minute. If you cannot come to grips with even the thought of dressing up next week or dressing up your scholar, don't bother. We're trying to offer some other um, fun things to do. Some of us do have kids, kiddos at home that we're, we're desperate for them to have activities. Yeah. And so this was just a way for us to stay connected, stay in community, try and keep some fun going on within our school. So do not feel pressured at all to dress up and participate, but if you can, join us. So on that note, also next week, we are kicking up what we're calling Walter's Weekly Challenge. And this is a challenge for families or individuals or siblings to get together and we will tell you each week what that challenge is and we'll have you submit it to us at our email address, communications at onescool.net. Everything's opposite here, so I'm having to work. I don't know what you're doing, but it's fantastic. Anyway, so next week, start. Monday or you guys can start right now if you want start building we are doing a Lego challenge most of us have Legos at home if you don't build it with something else again we yeah. are super open to your ideas if you've you got cards, boxes whatever, whatever you got those extra toilet paper rolls that you're going through oh, save those puppies because that'll work for Walter's yeah. weekly challenge this week it is do you want to tell them what it is Blake what's what is it be? what's it gonna be this, this week's week? challenge we want you to build a Walter robot. Yeah, that's it. Kind of anticlimactic. Show us but your best Walter. Show us your best Walter with Legos or if whatever you want. Whole body, if it's just the head. You be creative. This is your design. Creative. And thank you for submitting it to where? Communication. Communication. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Anything else? I think that's it. Were we showing any curriculum highlights this week? We, uh, in the next, um, we'll be showing a, a little bit of a slideshow after. And, and now, now, we present to you. Joke! Joke! Oh! Uh, uh, we! Oh, we'll be pausing. Good morning, scholars. I have a joke for you today. Come here. Why do teenagers travel in groups of three, five, and seven? Because they can't even. Is it over? Okay. All right, glad you liked it. 
We're going to move into some curriculum highlights this week. Uh, we hope you have a great day, great week, and we'll see you again next time on What's on the Skillet with Lincoln and Meg. Lincoln, thanks. I'm out of coffee. Pleasant it is to praise him.